All right, what's going on my bears? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I want to do something a little bit different and I've done this style of video before but not in this way. So let me let me try to explain this. So basically uh, normally I just go and walk you through my workout and everything like that. But instead what I'm going to do is walk you through my workout uh, in video form. But today what I want to talk about is how to get stronger or how to get your strength back after a cut. And so today was a lower body day for me and it was a pretty decently high volume day. Uh, I am feeling pretty gassed and pretty worn out, but yeah, so how to get stronger or how to reclaim your strength after a cut. And my best piece of advice is to take it slow. So many of you uh, may have experienced or have done a cut before and as you all may be familiar with, uh, or maybe if you're not, I'm gonna explain anyway. Uh, when you cut, you definitely do lose quite a bit of strength. And depending on how far you cut and how excessively you cut, you can expect to see 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40% of your strength gains lost. And that's very frustrating for a lot of people who are strength athletes. Um, myself included. Uh, I do consider myself a strength athlete, but I am a little bit more of a hybrid kind of thing where I do like focusing on aesthetics as well. So that's sort of why I'm consider myself a power builder, but uh, some people may or may not agree with that term. But in any case, um, for my own weight cut from three, no, actually, almost four months ago now, uh, I did start out at, I believe, 245 pounds. And today I weighed in at a new low of 204 pounds. So I've almost lost 40 pounds off of my frame in the past four months. Now, that is not 40 pounds of fat. I definitely did lose quite a substantial amount of muscle and also a substantial amount of my strength. So before my one rep max on the squat, for example, would have been somewhere around 455, 465 pounds. Uh, that's at that 240-ish body weight range. And now my one rep max is probably in the ballpark of 395, maybe 405 for a touch and go. Depends on the day. But in any case, that is a pretty substantial drop in strength. Now, this isn't, I don't want to alarm you guys and for those of you who clicked this video because of the title and you want to, you want me to get to the point, uh, let me just get to the point right now. So the most effective way to get your strength back after you cut is really to take it slow. You don't want to just uh, keep piling on the weights more and more and more uh, for a couple reasons. The first reason is that if you do that, you will inevitably end up hurting yourself and that is not a good thing when you are trying to train for strength. Uh, when you hurt yourself, if you're a bodybuilder, there are other methods or other machines or other workouts that you can do to sort of uh, supplement that injury. For example, uh, let's say that your shoulders are, are injured, you have some kind of AC issue, you can belt squat instead, right? But for strength athletes like myself, if you injure yourself, it's very hard to progress in that compound movement that you wanna be competitive in. For all people, you do wanna protect yourself, you do wanna stay injury free for the most part, but it's especially important in my opinion for strength athletes who only focus on three or four main lifts. So that's uh, reason number one. Reason number two is that in order to sort of effectively increase your strength again or get your strength back, uh, actually a lot of it is due to your CNS and your, your just your brain's, basically your brain's ability to remember how to handle heavy loading. And so you can't just completely overload yourself. Uh, maybe you used to rep 315 on the squat and now you try to rep 315 when you're like 30 pounds lighter, 
your body is not going to respond well to that. Your brain will think that you're dying. You will not be able to get it up. It might not be your muscles that don't have the strength. It may just be your CNS that's overloaded. So you want to take it slow and let your body take the time to adapt and remember how to handle that heavy loading, especially at a new body weight. And number three, when you cut, uh, let's say if you cut very excessively or you've cut for a long time like I did, uh, there, there will be physiological changes in your body that's just a given. And with those changes, your technique, your leverages may change a bit. Um, for, for myself, uh, I used to be a low bar squatter and I primarily did the low bar squat. I never really touched the high bar squat until about halfway through my cut. And with my low bar squat technique, I did use my gut to brace against my quads in the hole, uh, in the hole of squat, right? But as my waist got smaller, it sort of became harder for me to sort of brace my gut against my quads, right? Because it's just not as big as it was before. And so there will be slight technique changes and you need to get used to your new body uh, before you can sort of progress forwards. The scariest thing for many of you out there and myself included is that when you cut and then you try to lift like you did before, you feel like you lost all of the years or months or really whatever amount of time, just an arbitrary amount of time of progress that you worked so hard for. And now that you've cut, sure you look a little better, but it's really aggravating and almost uh, defeating to see that all that progress is gone. But I wanna tell you, it's not gone. You just need to take a little bit of time and a little bit of effort Take it slow, program effectively, and then you will get back to your old numbers. I promise you guys. So with that in mind, uh, if you have any questions or you want me to go a little bit deeper into this topic or talk about something else specifically, let me know in the comments section down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it wasn't really it didn't really flow that well, to be honest, but I am just sort of speaking off the top of my head. And I didn't really have any sort of script for this. So if you guys want a better video, uh, a more concise video, I would say, let me know down in the comments section below and I will start writing out scripts for these videos. But I just wanted to try something new to see how you guys would like it and how you would respond. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, as always. If you want to get into online coaching, shoot me an email at thebarbellbear at gmail.com. That email is listed in the description below. Before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And yeah, seriously, let me know what you guys think of these types of videos. If you guys find them helpful, I'll definitely make some more. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.